You could say that it was more than just a hot day. You could even say that it was a real stinker. The birds were hanging out of the tree and their tongues were hanging out of their beaks. Other than that, there wasn't a soul to be seen. The day was heading to be an absolute snorter. Even the sun found it hard going. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, not a skylark, nor a bee to be heard, not a cat on the fence. But there was a hot wind, there were hot sounds, and there was hot dust everywhere. Oh, oh, weird weather, panted Rhubarb, when he eventually ventured out and found Custard, who was lying on the ground covered in a blanket of dust. Don't you think that blanket of dust is a bit thick for a hot day like today? asked Rhubarb. What? muttered Custard. I said it's weird weather, whispered Rhubarb. And as Custard stood up, the dust swirled, and it was quite obvious that they had both heard it. What was that? shouted Custard. Moggy's wind chimes, offered Rhubarb. No, they go off all the time. You're right, said Rhubarb, and there it was again. Oh, deary me, what can it be? They begged each other in the heat of the moment, and when it happened again, they both jumped into each other's arms and fell to the ground in a heap of dust. When the dust had cleared, Rhubarb and Custard sat up and looked around. The birds were hanging out of the tree, their tongues were hanging out of their beaks, the sun was sweltering, the heat was horrible, the noise was closer, the chums were terrified. What could it be? Rhubarb squeaked. Custard couldn't talk, but he could point. So he pointed very quietly. <laughs> Too tall for a snail's pace, but quite unhurried, what looked like an exotic shed was moving along the lane on the other side of Rhubarb's fence. And then, of course, there was the scary noise. Hello, no, no need for your computer to tell what that is, Custard finally managed to say. Oh, what is it? Rhubarb was eager to learn. It's mysterious. That's what that is. Mysterious, said Custard, and stood up and dusted himself down. After convincing Rhubarb that they should find out what the mystery was, Custard held the ladder while Rhubarb peeped over the fence. Oh, it's nothing, said Rhubarb with a sigh of relief. What do you mean, nothing? Custard boiled in the heat. Well, it's not dangerous, said Rhubarb. Well, if it's not dangerous, invite it in, Custard steamed. There was a great kerfuffle in the tree as Rhubarb opened the garden gate and after knocking down both gateposts, the exotic shed lumbered into the garden, perched on top of an elephant. The noise, it's the noise, shouted Rhubarb in an overheated, overexcited kind of way, and Custard nodded. The noise, he sighed. How do, said the elephant. Eric. Rhubarb, said Rhubarb, and introduced Custard. And Custard. That's a very nasty noise you have, Rhubarb shuffled. Aye, you eat there, lad, snuffled the elephant. Do you speak English? inquired Custard, and the elephant sneezed. Ah! Ah! Hey, it's a right one year dog, ain't he? bellowed the beast and pushed Custard in a friendly kind of way that sent him reeling across the garden. <laughs> I were a pit elephant, worked in a coal mine, humping coal, till I got to sneezes. <laughs> I'll never forget that day, explained Eric. I see, said Rhubarb. And what about the, uh He shrugged and pointed at the exotic shed. Ah oh, ha! Me granddad were a prince, you see. And that was his coal shed, came the explanation, followed by a sniff. Oh, I say, it's a bit hot, ain't it? Don't suppose you've got a cup of tea, have you? Gasped Eric <coughs> and hooted feathers all over the garden. Well, as it is so very hot, uh, wouldn't perhaps a pond be better than a cup of tea? Rhubarb suggested. And before you could say, E by gum, Eric had all but slurped the goldfish out of house and home. 
Well, lads, you done me grand. And if you're ever up my way, don't be behind in coming forward. I'll be off then, sniffed Eric, and turned towards what was left of the garden gate, just as Mouse turned up. In a flash, Eric had leapt up onto a garden chair, and the noise he made shook the very ground. What followed was a thunderous sneeze, followed by monsoon rains that doused the dust, cooled the air, soaked the garden, and even filled the empty pond. Rhubarb just stood. Custard just stood. They just stood and stared at each other. Then, at Mouse. Uh, uh, what did I do? Sweet Mouse. Eric is an elephant, said Custard. And you are a mouse. Mouse, said Rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs>